This is how to do a serious cover job in hot weather. What I have here now is cover mark. This is their second lightest shade, which I found is good for me. And I will show you on one half of my face. You see these marks under my eyes where I've had injections? Okay, this is what I want to deal with and also the uneven skin tone on my face. Okay. Here we go. Just like this. I always kind of start here because that's the worst part, you know? I'll just kind of go around. And when things get a little bit too moist, I take this nice one half uh, spliced bounty and blot off the perspiration. And then I go back to my little working over here. Let's get that thing on the nose. Oh, it's hard to do this in reverse, but eventually the job gets done. Okay, I'll turn this off now and then I'll finish this side and I'll show you the comparison. Okay, so now we're almost to the last, now we're almost to the last step. And I like to keep blending for kind of a long time so that, you know, because the pores are a little large at my age, I like to try to get the, everything into the pores enough so that it's um, got a smoother texture. It's not like the makeup sort of skimming over the top of the pores. Uh, and then, the best powder in the world will never be, it just never changes. I mean, they try to make other powders, but there is never going to be a better powder than corn silk. This is corn silk with no color added. And to me, it just gives the best finish without being really cakey. Uh, or having, I don't know, you know, even those mineral powders that they're so big on lately. I, I don't think that they're in any way any better or even come up to the quality of corn salt. So, so here we go. That's approximately it. You see one half of the face. The eye is fairly well covered. The skin tone is more even. And that's about it. And then I'm going to do the other half of my face alone. Bye-bye now.